Welcome back to That's Life with John Carver. This is episode number 350. And I call this episode The Exchange of Energy. Author Shannon L. Alder writes, quote, When you are joyful, when you say yes to life and have fun and project positivity all around you, you become a sun in the center of every constellation and people want to be near you, unquote. It continues to amaze me how each of us transmit energy to those around us. The energy could be happiness, sadness, frustration, peace, panic, anger, or any other emotion. Many people feel that energy while others don't feel that energy. The challenge for some of us is to realize that we have the power to transform our surroundings by our attitudes or our energy. Again, the challenge for some of us is to realize that we have the power to transform our surroundings by our attitudes, our energy. One day many years ago, my family and I were in Florida as we were invited by an amazing organization that helps sick children. A few of our kids were in a pool while being supervised by other adults. My wife and I were just a few houses away where some of our kids were swimming. All of a sudden, I felt this overwhelming feeling that something was wrong. I then got up and walked to the house where some of our children were swimming, and our son, Timothy, was struggling to keep his head above the water. I threw my phone on the ground and jumped in the pool with my clothes on to rescue him from possibly drowning while he was surrounded by many people who, frankly, weren't paying attention to him. Timothy's energy must have reached out to me at that moment. This type of situation has happened to me dozens of times. Your feelings have energy. Your feelings create energy. The more people you're around, the more amplified that energy is released. Again, the more people you're around, the more amplified that energy is released. The opposite is true. We have to be cautious of the people around us who transmit energy that could cripple us emotionally. Most of the time, those people have no idea of the power of the energy that they're transmitting to those around them. They're only concerned about their emotions at the time. Author Sam Harris writes, quote, you are not controlling the storm and you are not lost in it. You are the storm, unquote. Your emotions and mine have the power to create a smooth sea or a tsunami in your life. What happens when you hold someone's hand? You're transferring energy and receiving energy from someone else. What happens when you give or receive a hug? Yes, energy is transmitted. What happens when you pet a dog? Energy is transmitted. Scott Wendell, who's president of CompetitiveLender.com, says, quote, You can do your part to improve and heal the world using kinder thoughts and actions to make a smooth sea rather than a tsunami. The serenity prayer sums it up well. You can only do so much to control the external world, and at a certain point, you have to accept and allow it. You have to become the, quote, experience, unquote, not a separate ego judging every experience as good or bad, resisting and causing your own suffering as a result. That is, stop blaming the outside world for how you feel. Learn to watch your response. The energy others transmit does not define your response. Let me repeat that last sentence from Scott Wendell. The energy others transmit does not define your response, unquote. Finally, and this is something that I struggle with constantly, it's essential that you allow yourself to communicate those emotions in a healthy way to those in your life. Living in such a way that you understand your actions and your words impact everyone around you in substantial ways. This is incredibly essential. Pay attention to your emotions and how you're expressing those emotions to people around you and how the emotions of others are being expressed to you every single day. My name is John Carver. Thanks for watching.